point. Amen and beyond. And then we can serve God like He served God. I believe that everybody needs to serve the Lord in some capacity or another. Amen. Whatever your ministry is, you need to find it and figure it out and do it. Amen. Whatever it is. And that's so varied. But let me tell you, Enoch served God. And as he served God, sought God, God gave him revelation. Some of that is still yet to be fulfilled. Let me read to you Jude 14 and 15. We're going to close in just a moment or two. It says this, Now Enoch, the seventh from Attic, from Adam, prophesied about these men also, saying, and these are words that Enoch said, revealed to Jude by the Holy Spirit. Behold, the Lord comes with 10,000 of his saints. Do you know what he was saying? Wait, he's the seventh from Adam. He's looking all the way past the first coming of Christ, all the way past the church age, all the way past the rapture of the church, all the way past the tribulation period, all the way to Revelation 19 when King Jesus comes riding back on a white horse. And this is what he says. He, the Lord's coming with 10,000 of his saints. By the way, that's you and me. Come on. You're going to be riding a right horse with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Then now notice what he says. To execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have committed in an ungodly way, and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Four times he uses the word ungodly. You want to know why? He was from an ungodly culture. God had revealed to him the things that God, that you can't live that way and get away with it. Amen. He was a preacher of righteousness, I believe. And that was his ministry, I believe. Amen. He was a light to his generation. Amen. So we got to serve God like Enoch served God. And then let me give you the last one. It's going to only take a moment or two, but it's the best part. I saved the best for last. Come on. We can expect to be taken as Enoch was taken. What? You mean one day you're just going to disappear, Pastor Bob? Uh Uh-huh. Hello. I don't know about you, but I believe in the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. I believe in that. I believe that it's coming soon. It does not bother me to say he's coming soon. And I have had people say to me, you know, I've heard that all my life. Well, let me tell you something. If he was coming soon then, he's even coming sooner now. Come on, somebody. I believe that Christ is going to return for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to what the word says. It says, for the Lord Him." Self, come on, the one that we walk with, come on, the one that we please, the one that we serve, the one who saved us, the one who died on the cross for us. Come on, somebody, King Jesus himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ are going to rise first. Then we who are alive and remain. Is anybody alive and remaining? Come on. We who are alive and remain, look what it says, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Oh, I don't know. I know one thing. Enoch did not just walk up into the woods and disappear. A lot of people have done that. People knew Enoch disappeared. I don't know what that day must have looked like back in that culture. But I believe that there must have been a lot of people around. And all of a sudden, Enoch was gone. I'm going to tell you something one day. I still believe it and I still preach it. The one day, my friend, the headlines are going to read millions missing all across the world. Amen. And every born again believer, everyone that's walked with him, served him and pleased him, those who know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, we're going to be gone. Come on. We're going to be changed in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. This body that's immortal 
is that this mortal is going to put on immortality. Come on. Amen. This body that's corruptible is going to become incorruptible. Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but I'm grateful today that Jesus Christ is one day going to return. Hallelujah. You say, well, what if I die first? Guess what? You'll be the first to come up out of that grave. Hello, hello, hello. It says the dead in Christ will rise first. Amen. We're going to meet together in the clouds. Amen. My great-grandfather will be there. My grandpa will be there. My mama will be there. Oh, come on, somebody. We're going to meet the Lord in the clouds forever. I'll tell you something. I'm grateful today that Enoch was a type of every one of you and me because I believe that Jesus is coming. He's coming back. He's coming back. Hallelujah. And that ought to be motivation inside our spiritual soul to serve the Lord while it is yet day because the night is coming when no man's going to be able to work. You say, what, what's that? what is that all about? I'll tell you, when the night comes, it's going to be the tribulation period. I don't intend to be around during that time. I'm going to be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'll tell you something. We're going to meet... The Lord in the clouds. Would you stand with me today? Thank you for just letting me share. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Our praise team is coming.